I have my very, very bad mic for this video, so you'll have to deal with the humming, I apologize. I've been pretty busy the past few months. I finally finished my game, Asriel. Uh, it's on Steam, it comes out July 22nd. And I did everything myself, including the music, the sound effects, the art, the coding, the story. And it's only $2, and I definitely think it's worth $2 if you want to check it out. And I'll leave the link in the description to the store page. And it even has achievements. With that out of the way, I figured I should at least do a short and sweet myth busting. So I decided to take a look at Mercenary and if he can have permanent uptime invincibility frames using Eviscerate. As you know, Eviscerate with no items does give him iframes and he can't be hit during the duration and giving him attack speed does not shorten the animation but rather allows him to get more hits in by the time the animation is finished. I started with 3 purity but it wasn't quite enough so I gave myself 5. It works with 4, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but it looked like I was able to at this point do Eviscerate into itself with no downtime. But if you notice when Eviscerate is over he pops back out for a brief moment and I wasn't sure if he was vulnerable during this period, so I changed the test up a small bit. And again, attack speed doesn't change anything as far as the iframes go, but it just makes killing the enemies way faster. At first I thought Vagrant would be perfect for this, but I accidentally caused a mass genocide. So instead I went with a boss that can stack inside of itself, being the Clay Doomstrider. And as you can see, even with all 15 locked onto me, I wasn't taking any damage at all, including when they started doing the vacuum attack. And the moment I stopped doing Eviscerate, I started to take massive amounts of damage. And that's about it as far as this test goes. Uh, I do think it's pretty cool that you can have permanent invulnerability. I've said before I always take slicing wins, but this definitely isn't a bad way to go. I don't really have any more plans as far as content goes, and if I'm being honest, I'm still not super peppy about making Risk of Rain 2 content. What I do know is that I don't want to be told what I can and can't make, so if you have any ideas, even if it's outside of Risk of Rain 2, I'd be open to it. Just go ahead and leave a comment and I'll look through them. I do think I'd be maybe pretty good at making a video essay style on a video, uh, maybe about Asriel, because the story is uh, pretty complicated at some point. So go ahead and just comment, and hopefully I'll come back to making content soon. It's going to be about it. See ya.